<laughs> is it working now? No sound. No sound. Oh, so sad. There we go. All right, everybody. I hope we got sound now. Hello, Carol from Ohio. How are you today? Thank you for joining me, everyone. Happy Thursday. Hello, Kathy. How are you from Digital Deco Design? Still no sound. I hope you have sound. Give me hearts as soon as you can start to hear sound, everybody. Give me hearts as soon as you can hear sound. I would appreciate it. Hello, Stephanie. It's all good. Yay. Okay. Yay. We got sound. Woohoo. All right. I don't know. I had the, my, my microphone being charged, but maybe it wasn't charged. Working out great, great, great. If you're new to the page, please just let us know that you're new so we can welcome you. And if you're watching on the replay, please also let us know so, uh, let me know so I can welcome you in the comments. Hello, Luann. Hello, Mary. Hello, Lori. Hello. Good morning. Hope you're having the best day ever so far. Having a blessed morning. All right. So we're going to be using Life in Full Bloom. It's a transfer. Um... I haven't used transfers in a while, so I said, you know what, let's use a transfer today. So let me just show you a couple of sheets that are on here. And I do have these on my website. Um, and my website is in the in the link below and on the website, Redesign with Prima. But let me just show you. How about the wedding? That was in three sheets. That's one of the sheets. Look at that. How gorgeous. Here's another sheet. I know it's reflecting on the, there we go, reflecting on the light. Good morning, Patricia. Look at that, how gorgeous. Hello, my sweet friend, Tracy Campbell. How are you, sweetheart? And I what I love about this one, see how the head's already edged? So you can put this on a project so it looks like the flowers are coming out of a pot or something. So, ah, oh, oh, thank you, Stephanie. I appreciate it. Yes, guys, I was on Pinterest this week. Pinterest TV, and uh, boy, how exciting that is. How exciting. Um, I'm gonna try to get on next week again. I'll let you know if I'm on, um, but uh, it's exciting to be on there. I, I had a great time. All right, so this is, and then, okay, so this is the third sheet that's in there, and so this is the one that we're gonna use today. Look at that, see, it's already edged, so it's gonna go on our project, and these flowers are gonna come on. Yeah. All right. So let me show you what we're going to be putting it on. We're putting it on an oversized tag. You're loving our fancy friends Valentine's Day tree. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Let me show you what it looked like before. This is what it looked like. I'm always trying to, after the holidays are over, whichever holiday it is, if it's Halloween, fall, whatever, I go to Michael's or one of the craft stores and try to get everything when it's 70, 90% off. So this was $10. I got it when it was 80% off. So I got this for $1.80. New, now, it's pretty the way it is. I, you know, it is pretty. But I knew I could paint over it. It's a perfectly wonderful oversized tag to do a project on. So, hello, Jacqueline. So um, when, you're go, when you see those um, sales after the holidays, um, it has to be though, it's gotta be a pretty smooth surface or otherwise you're gonna have trouble with decoupaging or painting over it. So just make sure that the writing or the painting on there is a smooth surface and you're gonna be good to go. All right, so here it is. Now I already painted, because that had a lot of writing on it. And hello, Michelle, I had to put two coats on there. Transfers do not like moisture. They will stick at first, but then they will start to lift off. So I had to make sure that this was nice and dry. So let's just get the back painted and then um, we can start our project. Hello, Dawn. Oh, thank you, Judy. I appreciate it. And everybody, all the stars that I'm receiving now and next week will be going to my, my um, church's food pantry. I do this every year. I go to my local supermarket, get all stuff for my food pantry, and um, and I make a big, huge donation of all kinds of food for them. So any stars I do receive now, I thank you, and it's going to my church's food pantry. So thank you, everybody. Hello, Lisa Hawkins. How are you? All right, so let's just paint the back of this real quick. But like I said, I did put two coats on the front because that transfers do not like moisture, and I wanted to make sure that they're dry. Now, if they have moisture on it, like I said, they might lift you know, eventually, but, or they might not even stick at all. They might not stick down for you. So, um, make sure it's dry. Good morning, Donna. And guys, if you could just put the hearts out there, like it's 4th of July, just so our fancy friends that are not getting the notifications will get it, um, hopefully in their feed and they can join us this morning. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. Look at the, oh, I love the, I love the emoji hearts. Love it. I just noticed that I got that on my Facebook page and I'm like, look at that. It's a, it's a heart with my, my emoji face on it. 
<laughs> Hello, Diane. Hello. Good morning. They're really cute, aren't they? All of a sudden, one day, they were just there, and they just popped up, and I'm like, oh, how cool is that? And I see, I see, and with emojis, if I could, if, if I could make out those hearts, I would be able to make out who's sending me hearts. Alrighty, so let's just give this a, a, a quick dry. We'll turn it over, and then we will start. Now, the, the stencil I'm going to use today is Essential Stencil, and this, what we're going to put on is, uh, this is us. Now, I'm not sure if I can put on our life, our story, our home. I'm going to see, but I'm definitely going to get the wording, this is us. Now, this is from Essential Stencils. Hey, Dawn, how are you? Now, if everybody doesn't know this, Essential Stencils is having free shipping all month. Yikes, I didn't know that. I just went on to see if they have the brushes in, in stock yet, the essential brushes, essential, essential stencil brushes. They do. They have the four-pack in stock, but they don't have the individual ones. I want to get the in, individual ones because I don't use the, what size is this? This is the seventh, eighth. It's really big. I don't use the big ones that often, so I really don't need to get the full pack. So I'm looking for the individual ones. They did not have them back in stock yet. I put, oh, put my name on the waiting list so they will let me know when they're back in stock and hopefully when it's... It will come back in stock when it's free shipping. There we go. So if you are going to order from Essential Stencil to save yourself some extra money besides the free shipping, put in the code yesterday and you get 10% off your entire order. Yesterday, 10% off plus free shipping. How cool is that? All right, so let's start. All right, so there we go. So it's painted on both sides now. So let's, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put, uh, um, what do I wanna do first? I think I'm gonna put the word on because when I do, I think transfers and stencils are a match made in heaven. I really do, really, really do. Actually, Essential Stencils has some, oh my gosh, they, had, they have a preview of their spring line or their, oh, they got some bunnies and stuff. Oh, I'm getting, now I'm getting off on a tangent. <laughs> But they have some really cool, um, they have some pretty uh, new stenc uh, transfers coming out too. But I like to put the stencil down and then I like some of the transfer to flow into the, um, the transfer to flow into the stencil, if that makes sense. So let me put this down first like that. And let me see. All right. So let me actually, let me cut some of this off the part that I know I'm not going to use. Now I'm not going to use this green flower right here. Uh, I don't even know what kind of flower that is, but I'm gonna just gonna cut it off. And you can cut these stencils and into any part that you need to use. Now, like I said, this is called Life in Full Bloom. I do have some left on my website with these, and what I have is what I have. I don't, I don't um, have many. So let me. My biggest pet peeve: if this, if the stencils companies would just make the backing white. So if you put it down, you could see, but. Ho oh, hum. Uh, so far, they're not listening to my recommendations. <laughs> All right, so let's go. All right, so let's see. So let's put this. I just want to see. Okay, so that's gonna go there, and now oh, it's gonna go down a little far. So this is us, and we'll put it. Uh, let's see. We might be able to fit if we get put it down a little bit lower. Mm, I just think, I don't think we're going to get our life, our story, our home. I'm not sure, but let's see. Let's get our, at least our, that is us. Okay, so that should be good right there. All right. All right, so let's get that down. And of course, we got to get our pixie spray. Yay! Our pixie spray is our stencils. It's our friend. It'll make our stenciling come out so absolutely beautiful. All right, let me real quick... Let me just to get my pencil and just going to make a little bit of marking here just so I know where I, where I had it before. Okay, so Pixie Spray. Hey, Kathy, how are you? I got your order yesterday. We'll be putting it out in the mail today. Hello, Michelle. How are you? I'm doing great, Michelle. And everybody, if you haven't followed my friend Michelle from Crafty Servings, go, go follow her. She's amazing. She's also on Pinterest TV, too, a lot more than I am. She's uh, amazing. And she's so sweet. Yes, thank you, Nay. I appreciate it. All right, so Pixie Spray, it's your friend for stenciling. It'll make it'll it's a light tack. Very, very it's waterproof, very light tack, will not take your paint off, and it'll seal the edges of your stencil your your um stencil edges so you will not get any bleed through. So you, you 
it comes out really nice and clean, clean, crisp letters. And we have, hi, from the UK. Yay, thanks for coming on. I appreciate it. Ah, oh, <laughs> thanks, Michelle. All right, so we're going to just go. Now, remember, not the front, do the back. Just spray the back. Can you see? Now, there's nothing over here. Even if it does hit something, this is waterproof. I mean, not waterproof. Water-based. It will come up, come off with water and soap. So no big deal. No big deal. And we got we got Danny from Saskatchewan. Hello. Hi, Lula Bells. Hot hot mess creations. How are you? I'm sorry, guys. If I miss um miss um saying your name or whatever, I'm reading off my camera today, not my um not my usual little um Amazon tablet. My Amazon tablet is giving me a little run for my money and it wasn't working for me this morning. So I'm trying to read with these old eyes on the camera here. <laughs> so pardon me if I don't get it right, but thank you Annabelle for joining me today. All right, so um, I'm thinking that I'm gonna use, okay, so I'm gonna get another stencil brush. This is too big. My ones that I love are either, hmm, this is the 5 eighths and the 3 fourths. These are my two my to go to's the the five eighths and the three fourths one is a little bigger than the other if you can sort of well oh, on the camera it doesn't look yeah maybe it does okay this is bigger and this is smaller those are my two two to go to's so i need some more as soon as they get them back in stock if anybody sees that and um i don't let me know uh, because i need to order some more and i hope it's when it's free shipping all right so let's uh now, when you put that down, your stencil, if you saw me, you kind of just want to rub it in and get those letters down, just like so. All right, so I think, I don't know what color to use, but I think there's some, let me show you the green. Can you see there's some green in there right there? There's some pretty green. So I think what I was, color I was going towards is Waverly Celery. Everybody knows Waverly Celery, right? Um... We're gonna put it down. If it's if I go to if I lift it up a little bit and I see it's gonna to be too light, then I'm gonna go with my other favorite um, by All Paint Company called um, Vintage Moss. So the color I put down here is by Paint Couture. It's Italian ivory. It is a antique white. So let's see how this works first. If I find that it's too light, I will go with Mint's Vintage Moss Moss by Paint Couture. All right. So let's get this down and. I haven't used this color in a while. It's really, it's pretty much a spring color for me, a spring summer color, not, not so much a winter color. All right, so let's get down there. Like, all right, so this is us. Let's get this stencil down. And hello, Linda Clifford, how are you? And can everybody see? I hope so. All right. So what's your weather where you are today? I, if anybody doesn't know me, my name is Kim from yesterday's tomorrow's. I'm here in New Jersey and it is a rainy day. Rainy again, no snow. We haven't had one. Now we're in New Jersey. It's the middle of January. We have not had it, had snow yet here in New Jersey. I kid you not. <gasps> that is so unusual for us not to have any snow so far. And I like snow. Not a, you know, it doesn't have to be a big, huge snowstorm, but just enough to, you know, to keep you. You know, put a big pot of soup on the stove or something like that. But we have not gotten any snow yet. And today, again, it's raining. Yikes. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two coats of this on. Now, make sure you dry in between coats because if you don't, you just muddy in the colors. And it's not going to give you that deep, that depth of your second coat, if that makes sense. If this is wet and you just put another coat on top of it, you're not deepening the color. All right, so you got to make sure it's dry before you put your second coat on. And that goes with also with changing the color. If you want to change, if you lift it up, you don't like the color, you got to make sure it's dry before you put your second color on. You're still waiting for your snow too. <laughs> I know I know what I feel bad for everybody who looks forward to this season, especially for skiers, you know? <gasps> Dawn, you got 10 inches of snow overnight. Well, I'm jealous and the New Jersey um, ski resorts are jealous too. Because, you know, they have that man-made snow, but, you know, with the warmer temperatures. <gasps> yes, Jan, I also. I love the snow, but warm inside with a fire going and a big pot of soup on the stove doesn't get any better than that. Hello, Fran from 
Let's see, from Michigan, how are you? Thanks for coming on, I appreciate it. All right, so let me just, now let's just put a second coat on real quick before I lift it up and see, making sure that this is the color that I want. Because sometimes if you put the second coat on it and it deepens it a little bit, then that is the, it ends up being the, the color that you're, you're going for. There we go, just like so. All right. Now let's just dry it again. Hello, Becky. Good morning, everybody. Here in New Jersey, it's quarter to 12. And on the East Coast, so the more west you go, it's really morning. And a little bit of wet, rainy, and damp. Oh, you're, see, I don't know. Why are we not getting any snow? Snow, what, I don't know. There's some Christmas show. It was a snow, snow, snow. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, gosh, you're going to want me singing. Is anybody's birthday here today? I can sing happy birthday to you. <gasps> oh, my goodness. If, guys, it's, if it's ever your birthday, let me know. I will sing happy birthday to you. All right, so now the big reveal. Hey, Terry, good morning. I know. I'd rather have snow than rain. Stephanie, yes, I'm with you there. I'd rather have snow too than this yucky rainy weather. All right, here we go, because we can have rain all, all summer long. We need rain in, in the winter. All right, guys, here's the big reveal. Now, look, if you see, I'm holding it down just in case. If it doesn't work, I can put a darker color down. And Dawn, it's your birthday tomorrow. Do you, do you mind if I sing to you today, just in case, for some reason, we don't get together tomorrow? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Dawn. Happy birthday to you. Everybody wish Dawn a happy birthday. And may Dawn, may God bless you with many, many more. Fancy friend. May God bless you. Oh, I love it. Look. <gasps> this is us. Now, can you see how clean and crystal lines are? It's beautiful. Oh, Linda, you're a newbie? Yay! Welcome, Linda. Everybody, welcome, Linda, to our page. Welcome, Linda. Thank you for coming on. I appreciate it. And you'll find here, we love to craft here. We like to chit-chat. We like to laugh. I sing sometimes. If it's your birthday, I'll sing to you. <laughs> I don't have a good voice, but I will sing to you. We will all sing to you. I'm sorry, sure everybody behind the camera was also singing. All right, so now let's get our transfer on. And let me see what part I'm going to use. Okay, so I know I'm not using this part down here. So let me cut it and get it out of the way. Okay, I'm, I know I'm not using this part down here. So they have some grid lines. Can you see that on here? So we're going to cut right here on this grid line. I know that I can use this. Use this for another project. Look at that. And because it's got this flat line here, right, guys? It looks like the flowers are coming out of something. So that would be nice in, like, in, in you know, if you have a um, watering can or something, if you stencil a watering can onto something, that would look pretty there. Hello, Cynthia. How are you? I'm so glad you're here. I hope you're going to do something fantastic for your birthday, Dawn, tomorrow. I hope you're going to have a, a wonderful day. All right, so let me. Okay, so I think. Okay, so I want, I'm just going to take this off here. Um, be careful when you're doing this. I'd just like to see where it's going to fall. And I'm just pressing on this ever so slightly. There we go. And then I can, I think I'm going to add a flower up there. Yeah, there we go. I think this is perfect. All right. So guys, here we go. I'm going to, I'm just going to, when you do put a, a stencil a little bit on a word, a letter, you just want to make sure that you're going to be able to know what it says. You know what I mean? Like if I'm, I'm putting a little bit on the S on is. But it's not going to cover it up so much that I'm not going to be able to tell what it is. All right. So now I'm putting it down. There we go. Once it sticks, you must commit. All right. So now you just get your tool. Just like so. And just rub it on there. Guys, I haven't done a transfer in so long. I used to have a, a day. God, this is many years ago. And I used to call it Transfer Tuesday. 
And uh, that was in my furniture painting days. And we used to do transfers all the time. Can you stencil on a ga galvanized product? Uh, um, yes, you sure can. Um, stencils work great on like galvanized buckets and all kinds of stuff. Yes, you can. You surely can. Absolutely. The, um, it really works. And you can even, you know, paint the galvanized um, um, piece that you have and then stencil over that. You sure can. Uh, one, one thing, though. Um, stencils will stick like a magnet on galvanized. Could you see how I laid this down? I was able to kind of move it a little bit. Um, when you put your, it, it's like putting it on a mirror or a glass. It will adhere like one, two, three. You don't have any wiggle room. So just FYI. Oh, you love your transfer Tuesdays. <laughs> Terry, me too. Me too. I love them too. Oh God, that was such a long time ago. But yeah, um, they like to stick on galvanized things like it's a magnet. So if you lay it down, it's going to stick one, two, three. What transfer are you using? It's very pretty. Let me show you. Oh, my canister. Hold on. Ladies, right here. It's called la, 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 Life in Full Bloom. It's really pretty. It comes in three sheets. Now, like I said, I do have these on my website if you're interested. There's a 25% off sale, free shipping. I only have what I have. Like I said, I will not be getting any more in. So I'm not even sure how many I have. Maybe five or six, something like that. All right. Okay, so let's start lifting this up and let's see what we have. Okay, so we just now this should lift up pretty easily. When it's a big surface area like that, they stick pretty pretty fast. It's when you have, let me just show you real quick. It's when you have these little, little stems and stuff like that that usually um, warrant, let me just get this off of here while, because we don't need it, that usually warrant a little bit more of, um, I call it elbow grease. Okay, so let's, all right, so let's, let's see, there we go, okay, yep, so, yay, it's sticking, so remember, it's, it's sticking well, because I made sure my paint was dry before I put this down, now you're going to want to also put a top coat on it, my top coat of choice is um, Paint Couture, I love their top coats, they have a top coat, which is really great, and it's called Extreme, and it's water resistant. Um, it's really for kitchen cabinets, and it works great on things like that. Now, I wouldn't keep this in the element in the rain every single day, I mean, if something like that, but it will repel water. So I'll show you that in a minute. All right, so let me get this down. Gosh, I'm having so much fun. I haven't done a transfer in so long. I saw somebody doing a transfer the other day, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. I need to do one. There we go. There we go. And now, yeah, see, if we can see now these little flower, flowers right here. Because, I don't know why. That and French writing or and any kind of writing, if it's tiny, it just needs a little bit more, a um, little bit more elbow grease just to, to get it down. But it will go down. See, just like that. Can, I, can you guys see? I hope you can see. See, and if you see, if you lift your plastic up and you see a little piece on there, just put it right back down and keep rubbing it. It'll come right off. And we have Kim Robertson here. Hello, Kim. Thanks for joining. Good morning. How are you? There. And like I said, I'm reading the comments from my phone today because my, my iPad was giving me problems this morning, so I'm using just my phone, so... Sweeties Creations and Decor. Hello, sweet friend. How are you, guys? If you're not following my friend, please go follow her. Sweeties Creations and Decor. Um, she's amazing, and she's the sweetest gal. <laughs> she's so sweet. She is so nice. Go, please go follow her. I have a friend of my friend, and you must know her, Mara from Vintage Retail Therapy by Mara. And she had a great idea. She, she tells her followers, when you come on the live, bring a piece of paper and a pencil. And when you see some of my creative friends come on, jot down their name and their Facebook page and, and uh, go check them out and go follow them. And you won't be disappointed. And uh, what a great, that's, I just thought when I heard that, I thought that was a great idea. So guys, when you come, bring a piece of paper and a pencil and uh, jot down my creative friends that pop on here and 
go follow them and check them out. Um, and they're amazing bunch of crafters and, um, and, and such great friends. <gasps> there we go. All right. All right. So um, as I'm going like that, I'm lifting the paper to making sure that it's um, coming off. There we go. And if you take your edge like this and you rub it like that, you can get a clean edge. It'll come off. If it doesn't, you can just wrap it around your wood. No big whoop. No big whoop. You could do either way. I'm trying to get a clean edge. If I don't get a clean edge, I'll just wrap it around. It doesn't really make a difference. The rougher your surface, the cleaner the edge you're going to get. There, oh, you know what it was? <gasps> oh, look at that. It was sticking right to my... So there we go. See, there, there's the edge. Now, you could either... What you could do is you could take it and wrap it around, or you kind of kind of just like... Peel it off, and it will stick to your fingers. There we go. There we go. Just wrap it around. And see what I'm... And now it's wrapped around just like that. Or you can get a clean edge. Whatever you want, you want. And then look. <gasps> this is us. Isn't it so gosh darn cute? All right. So now you got to do a big thing. It's called burnishing. It's a big fancy word. And it means rub it down, making sure all... Look, I got transfer stuck to my fingers and it means making sure that all your edges are down so what you're doing I like to go in a circular motion just like so just like this just like so and especially all these little ones like if you have little um, delicate flowers on there you want to make sure they're down because when you go to put your top coat on you will it will seep underneath your top coat and that's another cause of lifting for your um, transfers. It might not lift right away. A week or so later, you're going, why is it lifting off? You had some top coat that seeped underneath because it wasn't pushed all the way down. So you need to go all the way through all the little tips of your leaves everywhere and make sure everything is down. This is us. Isn't that gorgeous? I know. It's so pretty. Let me show you that. I'm not going to put the top coat on right now because then I won't be able to do anything else to it because I'm going to put, I want to make a, um, I want to make a tassel for that, but let me show you the top coat I was thinking about real quick. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, okay, here we go. I'm sorry. <laughs> if I had my mic on, you would be able to hear me as I was looking for this. Okay, so this is the, a product that I love. It's called Pencator Extreme, Extreme Guard Top Coat. It comes in all kinds of finishes, flat, satin, glossy, okay? So this is water resistant um it's it was first made for kitchen cabinets um and for fine for painted for furniture and cabinets water resistant dries clear and uv protective which means it will not yellow over time okay so this is <clears throat> this is going to be great if it's going to be something that um you want to make sure you're doing trays or anything like that and you think that maybe a little bit of water would get on it. It's not meant for being put out in the rain. Like if you're going to do a flower pot or something like that, because nothing's going to protect that. But it's just for something that you can spill. Uh, spill something on, you'll be able to wipe it off. So there we go. Extreme Guard Top Coat. You can find this in my link tree under all paint products is where you find um, my pink couture. Alrighty. So as you know, we can't let this look like this. It looks too new to me. Looks too new to me. So let's just, let's just take a little bit of my, um, distress Grand Espresso, which is my favorite. And let's just go around and let's, let's age this up a little bit. If you don't like it aged and, and you like it just the way it is, then, um, you just leave it. And guys, I'm just giving you suggestions and you do you, you do whatever you think looks beautiful to you. Um, that's what you need to do. Oh, that's okay. Debbie Hicks, you're never late to my page. Um, I just thank you for showing up and coming here. Everybody's supporting me and, um, I appreciate it. All right. So I just find that when you edge out your pro projects, it just makes it look a little prettier. Okay. So I'm just going around the edges just like so, just a little bit. And I'm thinking to make it a little tassel um, on here. So we're going to see. We're going to make it. We'll see if it works. Okay. And I'm even thinking maybe 
Another little flower right here. I'm not sure. You know how your project speaks to you. So let's see. All right. So let's make a tassel real quick. And we're going to clip it on. Now, I've been watching um, some, some um, people making these um, tassels. And what they were using to apply their tassels with something is called a bulldog bullnose clip bullnose clip i think that what it is do i have one no so what i have are these clips i don't know if you see these now they're black i just painted it white and what i buy these for is believe it or not you find these in the stationery section in walmart but i use them for my chip clip all right so but i painted it and um I was trying to buy the fairy transfer, but I can't on your, on your site, Kim. Hmm. Oh, I wonder why. Maybe because you're in the UK? I'm not sure. I know because I, I, I don't ship out of the United States, so maybe that's why. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, so let's make, um, let's make our tassel real quick. All right. So first, I'm going to use some jewelry. You see this? This is, this is a piece of jewelry. Can you see it? It was part of a three-tier necklace. And I just cut it, cut it off the necklace just like that. So we're gonna use that. Um, oh, and of course my, let's get out my seam crinkle ribbon. Let's see which colors we're gonna like for that. Um, I'm thinking with this, I want to, um, get one of the colors that are in here so maybe and you know these are these are these are my ribbons already that I already took the wrapping off of it so I don't know what color it is um so this one oh that might be pretty or the green okay guys what do you think one of the colors in my um in my tassel would be would you rather the pink or the green I don't want to put both I just want to put one so the green or like the vintage pink. And I'm gonna use cream color ribbons. So pinks or green, pink or green. Let me know ladies, pink or green. I'll get them both out. Pink or green. There we go. So this is same crinkle ribbon. I get it on Etsy from my scrap cabin shop. And that would be the green I would use, okay. Guys, I just got a big order from them the other day. Oh, wait, can you, let me show you. <gasps> Look. Look at the order I just got from her the other day. <laughs> I am all set. I am all set. You love them both? Uh, me too, Kathy. What kind of ribbon? It's called seamed crinkle, seamed crinkle ribbing. It's like um, seam, seam binding, but it's crinkled, which means it's all like this. That's what the crinkle means. And um, it's in on Etsy, uh, my scrap cabin shop. The woman who owns it, her name is Erin. She's amazing. She's so sweet. I um, I just love her. Uh, shipping's great. The prices are good. So, And if you go order from her, um, just let her know I sent you. Uh, I think I'm going to go, uh, what are we having? Green, 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 pink, pink, pink. I don't know. Okay, so let's start with the other ribbons first while we're seeing which one that we're gonna want to use. All right, so let's, I got these pom-poms. When I'm doing my um, my tassels, I like some texture in there. So I got this tassel, These, I mean these pom-poms from um, Hobby Lobby. I don't know, they might be fun in there. <laughs> Linda, Linda says pink, love the green too, but the pink looks good. <laughs> Where'd you get the tag? I got it from Michael's, but I got it. Um, it was, in, it was, it was, it was it, their fall collection and I just painted over it. So you're not going to find it anymore. Yeah, it was in Michael's. Uh, let me show you. This is what, so this is what I was telling everybody when you're going to look for stuff at the end of a season, this is what it said. Bree, but be bright. It was in their fall collection. They were trying to get rid of it. I think it was 78 or 90% off. I don't know. But you know you can just paint over them. So, um, but look how cute these tassels are. Okay. 
So let's cut that off. And you had to measure, to do your tassel, you just kind of want to measure like that and see how um, long your project is. So there's no like set, um, no set, you know, measurement for tassels. It's whatever size your project is. All right, so let's see. So we got this, and now we're just gonna measure all our other laces to match that. Okay, I got some cream colored Brick Brack. Pink, because of the letter, I know. I'm thinking the pink too, guys, I think. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Either one will be simply beautiful. All right. Now this is not, I believe this is not the week um, that the laces are on sale in Hobby Lobby. I think it's next week, because I think somebody told me last week that they were they bought the ribbon. So wait till the ribbons are on sale in Hobby Lobby before you go and get them. But look at that brick brack. How cute that's going to be, right? And let's see, we have, um, this is a pretty lace. Look at that. Now, for me, this is going to be too wide. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it. Just going to cut it in half because it's just gonna be too wide. There we go. So if you, um, you can use anything for tassels. You can even use, you know, if you've got some floral old bed sheets, just make sure they're washed. <laughs> you know, cut those up. Anything can be thrown into tassel, guys, anything. Look for old um, tablecloths. You can go to Goodwill, get a tablecloth for a dollar. If they have some, if it's really, if it's a pretty floral, you know, snatch it up. Because you can, anything, there's no rhyme or reason in a tassel. So look, so now I cut it and now you got, now they look like two different ribbons. Look how pretty. All right, so we got that one. We got this one. Um, we have, okay, this pretty ribbon right here. And we'll cut that. Where's my scissor? There we go. What else do we got? What else do I have here? All the ribbons that I'm showing you, except for the seam crinkle ribbon, everybody, did come from, um, they're all from Hobby Lobby. Now, I am expecting a package today from Amazon. I will let you know when it comes. You know, I don't tell you anything if it's no good. But it's a bunch of beautiful lace ribbon that I purchased from Amazon. It looks amazing for the price and everything so that's why i'm a little leery but we will see um we'll let you, i'll let you know all right so i think that's going to be that's going to be good enough all right so then what you want to do all right so let's just take a piece i'm going to go with the pink guys i'm going to go with the pink so you want to take your seam crinkle ribbon and you want to lay it across just like that and then you just want to place your here, let me put this over here for now we have time yeah we got time okay so you just want to place it across just like that and then just layer your um your laces down there we go now normally i would this is this is white and i would make a tea stain with the um with the grand espresso the ink but i'm just going to leave it plain today i think the different mixtures of the different tones of whites um will be pretty because we also have some white white in the um hydrangea here so I think that's going to be fine all right so then let's put this down right here and it, it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be perfect you know if it, you know it, all the edges meeting the ends meeting if, if that makes sense all right so let's put our pom-pom down hey Teresa I'm so glad you caught me live too yay all right and let's put this lace down and let me cut myself some Hold on. So I'm this seam crinkle ribbon. It just gives a pop of color and a pop of texture because see the texture of it? Just love it. Love it. And uh, you know me, and I love making my little bows out of them, out of these, at this ribbon. Okay, so we got the pink in there. Uh, let's move that out of the hole. Oh, move that out of the way. Okay, now let's get our brick brack. Let's put our piece of jewelry. Good morning, Nancy Grace. Just put your jewelry in there just like that. Um, remember when you're in your garage sales or whatever, go try to find broken jewelry 
and then you can get it real cheap. A big box of broken jewelry, because you're gonna if you're making these tassels and you're putting jewelry in it, you're breaking it anyway. So what difference does it make, right? There we go. All right, so we just put that in just like that. And then that looks like the middle. All right, and then you just want to take your ends just like so. Good morning, Chrissy. How are you? Thanks for joining. Okay, and you just knot it. Okay, so let me just lift it up. <gasps> Look how cute. Look how pretty it looks. And then with the jewelry in there, so pretty. All right, so now that looks pretty good to me. So now I'm going to, you just want to, then you want to double knot it. I just wanted to make sure before I double knot it um, that it's good to go. There we go. Just like that. All right. Look how pretty. All right. So now we're just going to make the little head on the top right there. And then I'm going to take my seam crinkle ribbon right here that I use to make the knot with. Okay. So now I'm just going to make a little... I'm just gonna twist it a little bit. There we go. So you see the little knot right there. And then I'm just gonna go around. Oh wait, I need the other end too. Where's the other end? Okay, so I got two ends. My two ends, there we go, okay. Make the knot again. And I just like to twist it a little bit. And go around, just like that, go around. Oh, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 what am I doing? Kim, you're, you're ahead of yourself. You're ahead of yourself. I forgot. Let's, first we got to attach it. I am ahead of myself. We have to attach it to our bulk clip. Now, the reason why I'm thinking of these bulk clips, now remember, this is not a bulk clip. I'm going to get a bulk clip. I just wanted to show you my idea. It's because instead of, if you put it in the middle here, then it was always going to want to hang and it's going to want to, um, it's going to cover up a lot of your, so your image. So if you put it here, it'll just hang a little bit. You can, or you can put it wherever you want it to hang, if that makes sense. All right. So now you just got to almost forgot. I got it because I've never used this before. You got to attach it to it. All right. So you want to just go through, um, let's see, which is the, yeah, the back. All right. And you just want to leave it, a, leave a little bit of leeway just so when it hangs, it'll be fine. Okay. There we go. And just double knot it again. There we go. Okay, so now it's attaching to that clip, just like that. All right. And then you want, you can take your, to make it even prettier, take your ribbon here and hold that like that and just tie this around just like so. So if you could see what you're making almost, you're making this little, let me show you this way. You're making this little here so it, it looks prettier. There we go. Bring it around. Bring it around. Bring it around and just knot it. That's all it is. That's all it is. Oh, these fingers. Okay. There we go. And then just let that drop into there. And it looks so pretty. Okay, so now let's just get another piece of the pink. And let's make our little little head on there. And what time is it? Whoa. We're getting there, guys. I got a couple more seconds to get this done. I have to realize I can't, when I'm on craft on the clock, I can't chit-chat too much. Because then I run out of time. Okay. There we go. So let's tie that in a knot. Just like so, and get all our ribbon. And let's, there's a little bit that are hanging a little bit too much. You can just cut them. You can cut them straight across. You can let, see now I like them when they're all different lengths, but can you see how pretty that is with all that in there and all the jewelry? I like the jewelry in there. I like the pom-poms. I like the lace. And I can just take it and let's just put it on here. And let's see how it looks on here, guys. Okay. Now remember, this is not the clip. You can you you can find the clips on Amazon. I know Tim Holtz has them. Um, you can find them everywhere. They're called bullnose clips, but I know this is not a bullnose clip. But <gasps> and there we go. Look how cute that looks. <gasps> there we go. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. I love it. And then I would put you know I would put um, 
a you know a, a ribbon coming out here like a, a a tag thing but there we go thank you i appreciate it and then when i'm displaying this i love when see how this all falls down here guys let me put you down a little bit there we go see how this falls down here i might cut it a little bit but i like when it cascades when i'm having it down i like that it cascades down um on my table or wherever i'm going to put it so i like to leave it a little bit longer on the bottom all right so i will put something here i'm not sure yet what i will put or maybe even a bow i'm not sure but it looks so pretty thank you everybody and guys please keep all of our fancy friends in your prayers i would so so appreciate it and and please keep my sister-in-law i have a personal request keep my sister-in-law sandy in your prayers she's recuperating from surgery and so thank you so much and um Thank you. Uh, God knows who needs them. All right, everybody. Mwah. Love you so much. Where did I get the seam crinkle ribbon? It's from my, my scrap cabin shop on Etsy. And if you could just do me a favor and please send, please let you let her know in the comments that I sent you. All right, everybody. Love you all. Mwah. Have a blessed day, everyone. Bye.